Hello friends, my name is Vinit Arora and you are watching Azure DevOps series. So in this session, we will see that how can we get the secret value in our CI/CD pipeline. Okay, so secret value from key vault. So you can see from my screen that I have created one key vault here. Okay, key vault name is this and under that key vault, what I will do, I will create one secret and that secret I will create for my DB connection string. So basically, why are we in need of this? We create secrets or I should say that we store the secrets in our key vault as a credential. So these should not be directly accessible, right? Even in case in the CI CD pipeline, we are in need to update uh, some database connection string or we want to make connection with database, right? Uh, and in that situation, we want to create some tables or a stored procedure. In this situation, we will be need to connect. So for that, we will be in connection string, we will be in need of connection string. So instead of doing the hard coding in our, CI, uh, in our CD pipeline, what we will do, we will get the values from our key vault. Okay, so here in our key vault section, I'm going to create one uh, secret. Okay, uh, DB connection string, this is the name that I have given. Let me put the value as my secret connection string. Okay. And then uh, let me click on create. Okay, seems this uh, we have already created this uh, variable already. So let me give the different name. Let's give the different name as uh, my connection string. Okay, and value is secret value. Fine. Okay, the variable name is my connection string. Now what I will do, I will access this value from my CD pipeline. So here, this is my DevOps portal. Okay, what I will do, I will create a new pipeline. I'll click on new release pipeline. Okay, I will go with the empty job. Let me add one artifact. I'm going to add the build artifact. Okay. And this build artifact I have created uh, in which I am producing the artifact in the sense that this is that uh, this build is for .NET build where we are producing the artifact of, as a .NET DLL and we are in need to consume this. If you need to understand that what exactly the build artifact that you just refer my other videos, okay, I will also provide you the link. Now I will click on add. What I will do, I will go with the jobs now. So here you can see that I am going to add one job, uh, one task. Under the task, I will look for key vault. I will add this task as your key vault. Okay, here I will look for service connection. This is a service connection I have created. Okay, again for the service connection, if you are not aware, then I have created a separate video. Please go through that and you will get the in-depth knowledge that what is service connection and how can we create that. Fine. Now the key vault values. This key vault is coming by default. Let me select that. Before going to next step, let me just update you that when we are in this CI CD pipeline, we need to ensure that this service connection has the permission to access this key vault. Okay. Let me jump to the key vault. Here under the key vault section, we have something called access policies. So here we need to ensure that if we have created the key vault, not via with role based access control, we have created via the key vault access policies. In that situation, we need to ensure that our service connection has the permission to get and list the secrets. Right? What we will do, we will click on create here, right? We will select the permission. Okay, we are looking to have get and list. Okay, and then we will click on next principle. Here we will look for our service connection. This is my service connection that I have created and I should say this is my service principle. Okay. Service con connection we create with the help of service principle in our Azure AD. So I will select this. I will click next and then after that it will give the, it will update the uh, permission. Okay. Then I will have the list something like this here. Fine. Okay. Now let me come here. And uh, let me click on this uh, checkbox, make secret available to whole job. So what it will do, whatever the values that it will fetch from the key vault, 
right secret values it will fetch it will create that values into the variables and those variable will be accessible to my further task fine let me click on this now secret filter secret filter you can see that from this connection string we can have a number of connection we can have a number of secrets and if we want to get all the secrets in one set we will simply go with asterisk or what we can do we can simply copy this uh, string my connection string this is key secret name and i can paste it here okay i'm not going with that i'm going with asterisk as of now you can try with that option as well fine okay now what we will do we are in need to fetch this value we have already fetched this value we are in need to print this values so how can we print this let me add one task of powershell okay now what i will do i will go with the inline option and here i will go with the connection string so what i will do i will add one dollar variable and let's see what will happen now actually this task will create the variable okay and store the value secret value in that particular variable variable name will be the same as our secret variable this over my connection string okay so the same value we need to put here now what will happen if i will run it it will execute but it will not print the value it will print the value as asterisk 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 that means it will mask the values so whatever the secret value we will not be able to see that directly let me show you quickly saving it creating release release one has been created click on logs and let it execute okay now you can see from my screen that powershell is kit here you can, you you are getting this asterisk 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 that means the value that the, it has fetched this value but it is coming as asterisk 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 means it is it has been masked you can't see that value but if we are in need to debug it we are in need to check that okay the value that it is able to find it properly or not what is the work around okay so let me show you the work around what i will do i'll click on edit pipeline now what i am going to do i am going to encode this value as base 64 hmm? so this is my connection string okay let me copy this and let me update this value here so what i am doing here i am converting this to base 64 connection string base 64 string okay and after that i am storing that value as encoded secret and again i am printing that value here fine let me execute this and let me even remove this hello world as well okay saving it and creating release okay now under the powershell scripts we can get that value is coming as a base 64 encode okay let me copy this now what i will do after copying this i will go to this base 64 decode.org this is third party website in which i will simply decode that value okay i will paste this value and will click on decode now you will see that value is coming as secret value this is the same value that i have updated here let me show you okay this is my key vault i'm clicking on show secret value so you can that secret value is here so in this way we saw that how can we get the value in our azure devops ci cd pipeline so this value we can further use uh, to connect our database connection string as a database connection right this can be used at multiple places as well so this is not specific to my database connection string we can store or we should store our all the secrets of our application fine so this is for now we will connect in our next session and till that time let me request you that if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and by this you will get all the uh, upcoming uh, you will get all the notification of my coming videos okay thank you please take care bye bye